So as you can see, that's the original version. And if you um, set up the vibrant deck, depending on whatever you want, even 160 here is just so vibrant already. It's nuts. <laughs> What's up YouTube, this is your boy G, back on another video. All right, today I'm just gonna show you really quick how to make the colors of your Steam Deck pop. Now, if you notice right now, um, it's, uh, you know, it's very good, right? I mean, Steam Deck is uh, pretty good, but you would notice that the colors is not that saturated, right? It's not that bright. Like on, on a television, for example, you can adjust your colors, right? Your saturation, but on Steam Deck by default, you don't have that option. But now I will show you how to have that. This is a plugin called Vibrant Deck. So if you notice, I now have an additional um, item there down below. It's like a plugin, right? And then if you go to the uh, Vibrant Deck, you will now have an option that says Saturation. By default, it's 100. Now if you increase that, of course, even like 140, even a bit is already like um, really, really good. Now you notice, colors just pop. All right, first thing that you're gonna do is go to your um, Steam button here, go to the settings, and then system settings. Right from here, you're just gonna scroll down to the one that says um, developer mode. You will have to enable that. Now, as soon as you enable it, go back, you know, press B, and then if you scroll down the settings, you will now have an additional option called developer. So just go there and then scroll down a little bit until you find the one that says um, CEF remote debugging. By default, that is disabled. So you just have to enable that and it's gonna restart your um, Steam or Steam Deck. Now, as soon as you uh, enable that, you just have to go to your desktop mode now to basically install something through its console. Now that we're in the desktop mode, we just have to launch the application that is uh, named console, right? It's like the command prompt, but it's a K. So let's go to the all application and look for the console, letter K, this one, and launch that. That's your terminal window. First thing that you're gonna do is to set up a password, right? Uh, for, your, for your terminal. So just simply type password or pass WD. All right, pass WD and press enter or R2. So it's asking me to change my password because I already have a password, but if you haven't set it up, it's just gonna type, you know, it's just gonna show you a new password. Let me show you right now what we need to type after this. So just go back to that, we're in the keyboard. Just go ahead and type curl, right? That's the very first thing that we have to type here. C U R L. Again, I'm going to put this command down in the description, so take note of that. All right, so that's the full command curl dash L, and then the URL there https colon, sla, uh, colon forward slash first slash github.com. Again, I'm going to put that in the description down below. So as soon as you uh, put it in, just press enter or R2 in your Steam Deck. All right, so you can actually see what happens if you mistype it, right? I put a mistype there, uh, a wrong uh, spelling. So it uh, provided me some error, but as soon as I corrected that, it's now asking for a password. So we just need to put our password that we created earlier. It's now installing. All right, so as soon as you put the password and it's done installing, you can now close this window and go back to your gaming mode. All right, now we're back in our gaming mode. First thing that you're gonna see, you see if you press this three dots here, down below again, you do now have the plugin. So you can just simply go there. You're not gonna have that vibrant deck initially. You will have to go to the store, right? That's kind of like the app store on the upper right corner. And then from here, just scroll down a little bit until you can see the vibrant deck, right? It's just third in the list, I believe. So just install that, and once you install that plugin, it will now appear on that option. So let's try it. So right now, again, my saturation is 100%. Let me launch a game first so we can see what's the difference in this one. All right, so we're in the actual game right now. If you notice, if I go to the option, 
that's how it looks like. It's not that bad, but if we actually bump the vibrant deck uh, saturation here, All right, let me do 180 right now. Notice how it looks like right now? It's game changer, guys. Look how bright that is. It almost looks like an OLED, right? See how vibrant that is? That is awesome, right? Now again, this is due to this um, vibrant uh, deck plugin. And I'm currently on 180 right now. Again, if I make this 100 only, see how it looks like on the original, right? I cannot even go back to that. It looks so dull and colorless right now. This is the original version, guys. So as you can see, that's the original version. And if you um, set up the Vibrant deck, depending on whatever you want, me, I think I would just like to use 150, something like that, 140. I'm comfortable in doing that. But even 160 here is just so vibrant already. It's nuts. Uh, experience will definitely be different. And I highly, highly recommend this plugin. It's pretty cool. So that's just a quick, again, tutorial on how to make your colors pop for Steam Deck. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Click the like button if you like this video. Again, comment down below if you have any question. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. Uh, there's still a lot of uh, Steam Deck uh, videos in the future. But that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe. And see you on my next one. Peace.